welcome everybody to the very first vlog with the new camera. What do you think? Is it nice? I quite like it. We're recording in 4K. I don't know if I'm actually going to upload this in 4K, but we'll see. As you would have been able to see, we picked up a couple of things because uh, I've got this camera now. My uh, Gorilla Pod isn't coming so until soon, so I've got this, uh, which I'm going to try out. And we've got another set of speakers. As I said, we're going to do that at some point. I thought I'd do it now. I might actually end up keeping this because it seems to work much better than than I thought it would, but we'll see. Anyway, uh, I'll I get to compare the two. Make sure to follow the pan chat. We're going to compare a gorilla pod to the other pod that I don't even know. <laughs> Need to, oh hi Smokey, I need to get some cables from the office. Honestly, if you are buying cables, the only place you should ever buy cables from is eBay, unless you have to like get them ASAP. <laughs> Speakers mostly set up. Um, as you can see right now, we have the sub there, speaker there, and the cables I bought will extend it really, really far. Uh, for example, I will show you this set over here. So there's the, the sub. And the main speaker is up there. There is a little bit of cable showing, but I can tuck that up there eventually. So that'll be fine. The other speaker is currently there. <laughs> I, was, I was like, it's, it's there. Uh, it's going to go up there. I'm going to get them basically in each corner. And then once I've done that, the subs will probably go lined up on the wall. Like, or like at the floor of the wall. Somewhere. And now for the demonstration. As you can see on my phone. Three, two, one. <laughs> Of last year, Nerd's album is definitely one of the best. I don't care what you say, it is, you cannot tell me otherwise, that and Flower Boy. And Dam was alright, Dam was pretty good, Dam's Kendrick, Kendrick's always good, but pff, those two are my favorite. Well, the reason I'm not moving this on now is because I need another extender thing that's a bit longer because that's not very long. Isn't it weird? That's crazy. It is crazy. Like, I, as you can tell by the title of this video, I have kind of a, a, a love, mostly love, relationship with this car, but there are some things that kind of lead me to dislike it a little bit, as per anything. I think I should tell them the story about how I came to get this car. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's yes, say that. Let's, so, let's tell that story. As some of you may know, I tried a whole bunch of cars. I tried so many different cars. I tried the Lexus IS200, I tried the BMW 325, I tried the Audi RS4, and then this. Is that my car? That's my car. That's a that's lot of cars. That's it, yeah. <laughs> Forgot about that. <laughs> we have it. So before I bought this car, I almost bought another car. And it kind of frustrates me that I wasn't able to get that car. So that's part of the frustration is towards this car. But once I, once I conquer, that frustration will I just love it because I don't find anything wrong with this car like obviously there's little tidbits but you get those with any car it's nothing major though no I love this car it's just drive cruising like we are now yeah it's, it's perfect and then if you want to be stupid which I do often you can do that so easily like it's almost to the point of where you can make it go full bimmer if you want to and where it will spin its wheels and act like a prat. It's just really like the best of both worlds. It is. In this. It's quick, but it's still stable even it's though. It's luxurious and comfy too. Yeah, it's, it's literally like everything. And it, it makes it difficult because if I ever went to sell this car, it's the best car I've owned of all my cars. The RS4, even if I bought the new RS4, this is so still would be better. It was too boring, mm -hmm. too businessy. It was like it was supposed to be the stupid model, the RS. Yeah. But it was boring. 
the car's changed a little bit since uh, actually having it. The problem is, okay, I would have liked to do so many different things, but because it's such a niche car to modify, and because it's such a business car opposed to, you know, the normal BMWs or the Audis or any like Japanese cars, it's everything's so expensive. So if I wanted to do a, a, a basic kit around the car, whereas most people would be looking at, I don't know, a thousand all round for some kind of decent body kit, I would be looking at a thousand just for the front splitter. Yeah. So it's kind of difficult to be to justify that. I mean, I, if I had all the money in the world, obviously I'd do it, I'd make it absolutely incredible. But the money I spend on this car could be used on the next car. Anyway, the story as to how I came across this car and got this car opposed to the other car that's going to be probably my next car. Well, actually, I don't know because we're looking at the project car as well. Yeah. The next big The next big purchase car. car. So that, that was a Skyline, okay? I was this close to having a Skyline and it was the most disappointing and heartbreaking experience of my life. It was a okay? very, very sad day. It was stupidly sad. So, I, I went to a place because I saw a Skyline for cheap. It was white. It looked really nice. Uh, I, I, the only bit of rust I saw on the whole body was like in the, uh, it's kind of where the window is at the back. There's like the yeah. corner. Just a little bit on the metal there. And that's like nothing. It was probably like surface. Either way, it was clean. It could have been mine. I put the deposit down. Um, it was a pretty, pretty meaty deposit because obviously I'm quite young and that sort of thing. So I thought the more deposit, yep. the more people will be like, okay, yeah, we can do that. So I put the deposit down and uh, they said, it's yours. The finance has gone through. It's yours. But you're going to have to come back tomorrow when the money has been given to us because it's a weekend. I think it was a weekend. So I was like, okay, right. That makes sense. So I went home playing Too Fast, Too Furious music. I was happy. I was messaging everyone like, oh my God, I'm good. You told me you'd bought the car. I told you. And... But, like, it was mine. They told me it was, me it was yeah, mine. Yeah, they did. They said it was yours. Here comes the depressing part of the story. <laughs> it wasn't mine. <laughs> so I get a call from them the next day because they say they're going to call me when it's gone through, if it's all okay, mm -hmm. that sort of thing. So I'm like, okay ready wait for the call they call they say unfortunately um the finance company has said no how do i describe that feeling because they told I don't know me if you can. it's mine and anyway they say we could try another company so i was like yes please like try another company three companies later they they, they let me know that oh uh, just so you know the more we try the more money we're taking from your deposit that you put down on the car and I was like what it wasn't too much to be fair but I could have done it my bloody self anyway when it boils down to it the reason as to why I couldn't get this car is not my credit rating because my credit rating is actually pretty good yes. which is a nice thing to brag about um, it's because the car was old the only reason that was the only reason the only reason <laughs> No, I had the BMW. No, you the didn't. RS4, the RS4 was a decision after, I think, right? Yeah, because it was uh, all-wheel drive, and I was like, I yeah, wanted to... yeah, it the was. The RS4 was after, right? Okay. So anyway, the RS4 I tried, as you know, I lasted like a month or no, two or three months. Two, I it think. was did not like <laughs> did not like <laughs> that car. So I then found out about the RCF, and I started looking into that, and mm -hmm. I honestly. I thought it was perfect. I loved my IS200. My IS200 was my favourite car of all the cars I'd owned at that point. It just had much more character. And then I ended up looking at this and I bought yep. it. I, I, I got it very quickly and I was accepted no problems because it was a new car. And I loved this thing. It was incredible. It was the first car actually test driven before I bought it as well. So, <laughs> so it was an extra good decision. <laughs> So there we go. I think I would cry if I sold this car. I would cry.
cry. I would, I would if cry. You sold this car. The only possible other option is always like the LC500 because it's like this car. Like that's that's my mindset. It's the same engine. Yeah. It's gonna. I think it's a slower top speed, slightly better acceleration, or the other way around, one or the other. But. I don't think I could ever get rid of it. But one thing that I can get rid of is this bloody, let's plasti dip it black. Let's do that. for that to dry I did put a few more extra bits on just in case of overspray kind of got me a little bit paranoid but for the most part you can probably tell uh, that, that the overspray was like here and then they go past this point but I wanted to be extra careful even though it's just a wrap and it will probably rub off anyway but I wanted to show you the X5 and how it looks the black at the front here so much nicer not like the best spray job in the world but you can hardly tell and obviously the bottom needs to be done people were suggesting in the comments that we put a bit of cardboard down here and then block this off and then spray it you're geniuses i'm gonna try that and not the best again but the side panel job bit looks fine and obviously there's the plastic dip at the back which was the most recent thing and as you can tell it looks pretty down good i personally think the plastic dip looks better when i left it for longer the longer you leave it the better it looks plastic dip you should trademark that, but pay me royalty. So if you've been following Twitters, uh, basically there was a post about uh, Alexas apparently giggling randomly and not obeying and stuff. So what I decided to do when I heard that news was plug it in. And as you can tell, it's now listening because I, was, I said its name. So far, nothing. If you've had any weird experiences, let us know. I, I said Alexa by accident. I meant AliXA because they won't trigger people's things. Aren't I considerate? Oh, You're hi, Jeff. very considerate. Say hi. Hi, Jeffy. You likes the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> I think it should be done. It looks like it. Yay! She is complete. Look at that. Very nice. So the plastic dip came out really, really well. There you go. Much better look at it. But ha, much nicer. All I need to do now is get rid of the other chrome bits, as I said. And then I'll be pretty happy with how it looks. This bit is the most annoying. <laughs> was the very first vlog with this new camera setup. Hopefully it turned out well, fingers crossed. If not, I'm gonna be rather annoyed when it comes to editing it, but what was that? Oh, it was just a, a three series. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. And we are gonna do quite a few more vlogs because I bought this camera for vlogs, obviously, but be sure to smash the like, subscribe if you are new, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Until next time, guys. Thanks.